Sarah. Now today is all about vegetarian food. Um, one of the things I hear about Minecraft is people wish that there were more vegetarian options that, you know, actually restored a decent amount of hunger. For really, in vanilla you have mushroom soup, and you have raw carrots, and you have raw potatoes, and you have baked potatoes, and you have, you know, not a whole... You've got a, a fair amount of okay vegetarian options, but nothing that's as filling as your meats and your stuff like that. And, of course, vegan options are even fewer and farther between. The not so in Magic Farm. In Magic Farm, let me go ahead and get back into first person here and get me hot bar back. There are so many vegetarian options that all I, I did just a small sample of them here, and I was about to run out of space in both of my work tables here. I go through NEI and look up soups and salads, and there are just a ton of different soups and salads that you can make. But today we're going to be looking at some stuff that's a little heartier or a little, you know, less soupy and salady. Because I know those of you who are vegetarians in real life are probably sick of going to some function where you've asked for the vegetarian option and being handed a crummy little salad. No, we're not going to do that today. Now, I've already shown you um, baked uh, thing of zesty zucchini and eggplant parmesan. And there are a number of, uh, if you're looking for an Asian flavor here, you can make yourself a nice vegetable stir fry. And all that takes is some beans, uh, chop up a bell pepper and a carrot, and an onion, and mix that all up together, fry it up in the skillet with some rice. Unfortunately, there is no soy sauce, there is no tofu, there are no veggie burgers. If you want something a little bit lighter, you can check out my very favorite vegetable here, broccoli. Make a nice creamy French onion dip to plop it in. You know, which, you know, <laughs> you eat broccoli because you want to eat something healthy, and then you drag it through a big, nice, rich, creamy dip here. You know, whatever. It cancels each other out, right? Right. Personally, if it were me, I would add spice leaves and maybe some black pepper, but you know what? This is, this is fine. This is good. In fact, I might just, um, no, I'm not hungry enough to eat that right now. If you would like something uh, a little bit more breakfasty, brunchy, there is an asparagus quiche available. And that is just an egg and a little bit of asparagus, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of onion. And just very patiently cook it all up in a nice cast iron skillet. And there you go. I talked about uh, the zesty zucchini that we looked at at the Italian restaurant. There's also a zucchini bake that involves corn and looks like some breadcrumbs on top of it. And that is just, you take your bakeware, you layer zucchini, uh, put it in a layer of corn, layer tomatoes on top, and then grate some cheese over it and some breadcrumbs to brown it up make it nice and crunchy. And let me just, uh, well, I'll, I'll hang on to that stuff for now. Let's see, what did I leave over here? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of root vegetables <laughs> other than, you know, potatoes and the ones that aren't good for you. Well, you've got all these turnip seeds that you're finding everywhere. you got to do something with them, right? So just throw them in a bakeware with some spice and roast them up. And allegedly that will make the turnips taste okay. If you really don't want to use turnips, I believe you can also use... Um, potatoes and sweet potatoes for this one. You can also use a pumpkin, strangely enough. Even though that's not a root vegetable, you can use a radish too. I can't imagine how that would taste. Would you like a, something else to go with your veggie stir-fry? How about a vegetarian lettuce wrap? Which is just, you take your cutting board, chop up some cucumbers, chop up some tomatoes, and roll it up in a lettuce leaf, tuck it in, all nice and pretty. Now, I did it over on this table. Um, for some reason, I tried to do it on this table, and it didn't want to work. I don't know what the deal is with that, but, you know, whatever. We got our, got our lettuce wraps. Let's see, what have I not looked at? Oh, yeah. Let's look at the stuffed pepper first. Oops. The stuffed pepper is pretty simple. It is some bakeware. You cut the top off of a bell pepper, 
and cram it full of rice, cooked rice, with some tomato chopped up in it, season to taste, throw it in the oven, take it out. But there's something that's even easier than that. Um, for reasons that I do not quite understand, there are two recipes in NEI for stuffed eggplant. This one is the one that is going to save your butt early in the game. Because all it is is eggplant, garlic, and bakeware. And now for, again, reasons that I do not quite comprehend, there's a much more complex recipe that gives the same item. There's now the same item ID and everything. I don't know why this was done like this, whether it was a bug or a feature, but you know what, I'm not going to complain about a full meal that you get with two ingredients. So, um, let's see what I got cooking in. Oh, oh, um, geez, sorry. I shouldn't have looked there. Wrong episode. <laughs> anyway, like I said, there are a ton of recipes for all kinds of vegetarian and even vegan food in NEI. Just look up your favorite vegetable. Like, uh, let's see, is there anything in here? There's some bell peppers in here. Just shift R and it will tell you everything you can make. There's your spring salad. Uh, beans and rice has bacon in it. Chili has meat in it. Uh, there's your veggie stir fry, your stuffed peppers. Uh, alternate recipe for the veggie stir fry. And another. And a couple more. Oh, there's also a kebab, a veggie kebab. I think the Supreme Pizza has meat in it. Yeah. There is an omelette. I think we went over that in the breakfast episode. And more salads, more soups. And just play with it. And grow your vegetables, pull them up. See what you get. And that is going to do it for this week. And as always, if there is any particular kind of cuisine you would like to see me do, uh, please feel free to drop me a comment and let me know, and I will squeeze it in. Next week we will be doing our Too Spoopy Halloween special. I'm going to be decorating up the kitchen, or I might even build a little haunted house. Who knows? But we're going to be looking at some spooky food and some candy. And on that note, um, as y'all might know, I am going to be doing the uh, Extra Life Marathon. I will be gaming for 24, actually, I'll try to be going 25 straight hours. I will not be doing it on the official marathon day, unfortunately. I miscounted my Sundays, and that turns out that's a choir Sunday. I've got to be at church that Sunday, and if I try to stay up 25 straight hours before that, I'm going to be a zombie up there. So instead, I am going to do this on, let me get my calendar on my phone open here. I will be starting it probably about 6 o'clock Saturday, November 9th, 6 o'clock in the morning, and going till 6 o'clock on the morning of Sunday the 10th. So I will be on twitch.tv slash cerebellum, and if you catch me over there, and you like what you see, and if you like what you see in the videos, please feel free to head on over to my Extra Life fundraising page. It's linked in the com in the description of every video I do, and just kind of drop a dollar into the uh, donation jar there. So that is all for this week. Thank you for watching, folks. As always, bon appetit. I will see you next time. Bye bye.